Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.4.8, Troubleshooting Inner VLAN Routing. This assignment is a part of the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Network and Academy Curriculum. So in this lab assignment, we have our router on a stick configuration. So that means we don't need a separate connection between Switch 1 and R1 for every VLAN. We need just one physical connection and then we'll have a bunch of sub interfaces, one sub interface for every VLAN we have. That allows us to route traffic between VLANs. So we've got VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 here for PC1 and PC2. Um, I know they're a little hard to see here. That's just a flaw in the lab. Um, so we need to troubleshoot this. Everything is supposed to, air quotes, uh, work, but of course it doesn't. So we need to notice some things here, right? We'll just make notes for ourselves. So FA011 needs to be in access mode for VLAN 10. FA06 needs to be in access mode for VLAN 30. Uh, G01 on the switch needs to be in trunking mode to carry all VLANs. And all of this is supposed to be on S1. Now on R1, we should have G01 turned on. So the physical part just needs to be turned on. Then we need to have G01.10 configured correctly. Then we also need to look for G0 slash 1.30 being configured correctly. So let's make sure we note that as we go through because this is um, a troubleshooting lab. Also, you can make sure that the PCs have correct IP addressing. Let's start there. So PC1 desktop 172.17.10.10 is correct. 255.255.255.0 is correct. 172.17.10.1 is its default gateway because we do want it to match that sub interface for this network in VLAN 10. So PC1's addressing is right. PC3 we got 172.17.30.10, 255, 255.255.255.0, but you do notice that they assigned the wrong default gateway. They assigned this the default gateway for the sub interface for VLAN 10, and this needs to be in the same network. It needs to be 30.1, which is the VLAN 30 sub interface. Before, if they're in two separate networks, it will not work. So that was one of our corrections. So we'll note down here that some corrections that we made were fix PC3's IP configs. Next, let's check switch one. So we'll do enable config T. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't need to go to configuration mode yet. Let's go to exit and do a show run. So Interface FA011 is in access mode, carrying VLAN 10 traffic. That's what we wanted over to PC1 right here. Then also uh, FA06, switch port mode, access 30 for VLAN 30 over here. That is correct. And we want G01 to be in trunking mode. And this is access mode. So we need to fix that. That needs to be in trunking mode. So we can go to configuration mode and then do interface G01, switch port mode trunk, and hit enter. Because that needs to carry multiple VLANs. So another one here, another fix. Is fixing G01 on switch one change to shrunking mode all right so that's our next fix down there i'm sorry our other one went away the first fix was to change the ip the default gateway uh for pc3 to be correct and then our next one is change it to trunking mode and i don't think these are gonna stay with us so um i'm just gonna remove it, it looks like it's going away every single time all right so we made two corrections so far we're at 50 percent um let's also make sure the vlans are created we need to make sure vlan 10 and 20 are created so i can do a do show vlan brief 
And we want to make sure that the VLANs are created. We've got VLAN 10, VLAN 30. That is correct. And they should be in the correct ports because we saw that with the show run as well. Now let's look at R1. All right, let's do a show run. All right, so we got G01. It is turned on. We don't need an IP address on the physical interface. It is turned on because I do see it green and I don't see shutdown. Uh, then we got to do the sub interfaces and it's G0 slash 1.10 which is correct, but you notice here that it says encapsulation dot one Q 30. That is reversed from what it should be. It should be dot one Q 10 because this one dot 10 is going to carry the 10 VLAN. And you see here it has the IP address for the dot 10 network. Same thing here dot 30 net the dot 30 sub interface is carrying dot one Q 10 traffic, but it should be dot one Q 30 traffic. So we need to flip flop those. So to do that, Let's go to configuration mode and do interface G0 slash uh, 1.10. And we're going to have to do is actually do no ncap.1q like that. And it'll take off all of it. Now, what we're going to have to do is also go over to G0.30 first because it already had the dot 10 encap or sorry, the VLAN 10 encapsulation. It won't let you do that across two sub interfaces for the same one. So we have to clear it all first. Now we can go back and apply it. So interface G0 slash 1.10. So if I were to try to do no end cap for just the dot 10 interface and then apply the 10 VLAN encapsulation to it, it wouldn't have worked because that VLAN 10 encapsulation was incorrectly configured on dot 30 already. So we got to clear it all and then put it back up there. Uh, so interface G0 slash 1.10 encapsulation dot 1Q10. Hit enter there. And then um, interface G0 slash uh, 1.30 in cap dot 1Q30. So that puts those uh, in the correct um, encapsulation. So now if we do a do show run. Um, also, we got to go apply the interfaces. Uh, sorry, the IP addresses again because it did take off the, inter the IP addresses as well. So let's go back and do that. So interface G0 slash 1.10. And we want to do IP add 172.17.10.1 for this one. 255.255.255.0. And then interface G0 slash 1.30. IP add 172.17.30.1. 255.255.255.0. Then we do a do show run. Now everything is correct. So G0 slash 1.10, dot 1Q10 encapsulation, 10.1 for the IP address, G0 slash 1.30, dot 1Q30, 30.1 IP address. And the last thing we need to do is just make sure all of the sub interfaces are up and operating correctly. So if we go into interface G0 slash 1, no shut interface g0 slash 1.10 whoops not 1.19 <laughs> no interface g0 slash 1.19 all right interface g0 slash 1.10 so you got a good thing of seeing how to remove one and then no shut all right you see that actually changed state to up so that means it was down then interface g0 slash 1.30 no shut that one's already up because it didn't do anything. So dot to G0 slash 1.10 needed the no shut command. All right. Now that covers fixing everything in this lab um, and getting us to 100%.